Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke Challenge. Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. I should say before we get going today, we are going to be taking on our rival, Peaches. Who know? I'm so curious to see how the randomizer handles Peach's Pokemon. Hope I, d I don't know. I don't know if it'll be like type themed like the rest of the um, game, or if it'll be like it could be um, if it'll or if he'll have a variety of Pokemon as he so typically does. Plus, we're also going to try and take on Misty, so that'll be fun as well. We can also catch some new friends. But before we do that, let's check in with our old friends with our current team. Uh, we have presently got. Uh, Dracus the Bagon, our uh, ferocious little dragon Pokemon. We've got uh, Moirin, the Moirin Rose, the Roselia. Uh, he joined us in the last episode. And then, of course, we have our starter Pokemon, Happy the Croconaw, and Sparkles the Shiny Mind, and everybody, everybody's favorite. Am I right? Probably. Oh, man. Here's, let me tell you the thing, is that I know what's going to happen, is that at some point, it is going to be the case that we have... Pokemon that seem clearly more powerful than young Sporkles. But let me tell you, the day I take that shiny Pokemon off the team is never. You can expect Sporkles to make it into the Hall of Fame or die. By which I mean Hall of Fame, because we would never let anything happen to Sporkles. We will drag him through the game if need be. Uh, but as ever, as ever, when you got when you got a bunch of new pokes working together, you start you start to see a little lies. Uh, it's just some relationship building. You start to see some uh, some tension grow around camp. As is, you know, it happens. It's, it always happens. You know, um, right out of the gate. I mean, we've already talked a little about about Happy, the most appropriately named Crocodile you ever did saw. Because just look at that big old grin he's got in his face. So happy, as is Sporkles. I mean, the two are like peas in a pod. They're both so happy. And I think Spork or Happy was so happy to uh, see the arrival of Sporkles. This like super rare, shiny Pokemon who is also just in a great mood all the time. Despite having a negative on their face, they're a positive. Like, let's face it, it looks like a negative, but it looks like a mind but acts like a plus hole, you know? Uh, flip side though. And pause. Okay, so future Jay here with a quick update about Moirin. It was pointed out in the last episode that Moirin, our Roselia, was actually the second Pokemon we caught on Route 3. This was a mistake by me. I thought we were on Route 4. However, without realizing it, you guys pointed out that I may have invoked the Shiny Clause, which says that if I run into a Shiny, I'm always allowed to catch it. And that sense Sporkles was the first catch on Route 3, it should be exempt from counting as the first catch. Now, this is such a rare occurrence that it required a deep new reading of the rules. I let you guys vote on it uh, over on the community tab. You guys did and overwhelmingly agreed that the Shiny Clause should come into effect and exempt Sporkles. So Moirin is gonna stay. Uh, we record these episodes several episodes into the future. So I wasn't gonna be able to adjust it for a while. So here I am. That's it. Moirin stays. Everything's cool. I should actually still have a catch available on Route 4, but I can already tell you that I'm going to squander that because I thought it was taken care of. Anyway, that's the situation. Enjoy the episode. Less, less um, happy vibes coming out of the other two in camp. Um, Moirin, not, um, not as impressed. Not as impressed, I think. But maybe a little left out upon joining the team. Uh thinking that these two are all such fast friends, where where do I go? Plus, more in little, mm, as you can often see in Rosalia's, there's a little self-important, you know, they you know, got like the vanity going on, carrying their flowers about, and uh, just it so quickly grew, like already faster, or already a higher level than... Sporkles doesn't understand why Happy doesn't favor Moira, and of course Happy, you know, he doesn't dislike anyone. He's just receiving some negative vibes from there. And then Dracus, I've never uh, dealt with low-level dragons like this before, but uh, turns out they is handful. Who knew? Everyone, probably, right? Uh, so, uh, although the obvious leader for, you know, such a team would be Happy, highest level starter, whatever have you, um, good attitude, uh, it's just natural for Dracus, uh, for Bagons, I think, to uh, sort of have that alpha uh, sense about them. And there, there's no exception here. Very much sees herself 
as the obvious strongest Pokemon. Very badly wants to be a Salamence already. Like, it just seems, like, natural in her. Jumping around, waving their little arms, like, mm-hmm. Yes, it's adorable. You're adorable, but you're not... You got a ways to go. You know, Shell, you got Shellgon and then Salamence, and that's not until, like, level 50. Okay, so let's... Uh, we're gonna have to try and rein that in a little bit, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and get... Um, I think we're gonna... We can find a, a rare candy back here. Unless the randomizer has moved it out. I don't think it would have. I don't think we moved away hidden items, but there is a rare candy somewhere. Aha, we found it. Ha ha. Actually, what I think, I'm not gonna like try and hoard the rare candies. I really want to get Sporkles to level 19 because that's when he's gonna learn. Uh, what's it? Spark. And then we'll have our true electric type on the team. So that'll be good. Um, the question, so to that end, let's go train in the grass and see if we can get Sporkles to level, um, just get one quick level and then we'll just boost him right on up to 19. And that way we won't have to worry about it and we won't have to worry about these rare candies. That'll just be that. Kaboom, kabam. It might only take one or two fights even. Here we go. Oh, Wigglytuff. Uh, this grass, we actually already did. Did we? Did we? Did we? Did we? Was that root three? I'm pretty sure this is the same route as before the cave, and it doesn't matter because we already knocked out that Pokemon. So if this was a potential catch, now it's not. My bad. But I don't think it was. Oh, no, the cute charm. It's the worst. All right. Um, so obviously, as ever, the best way to get Pokemon to enjoy working with each other is to have them train together. You would disable my head much. How dare you? So we're going to have Dracus come in here. Although, see, the thing is, Dracus isn't going to see this as, like, working together. Dracus will see this as... Look what I had to come in and save Sporkles. And he's really not going to like that I'm about to give Sporkles some rare candies, but, you know, such is the way. Such is the way. I don't want to sit here and grind for two more levels. There you go. There you go. Call it, call it favoritism. Call it what you want, but it's not. This is just ease of levels. It's safety for everyone. Should you... Yes. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to get rid of... I think the helping hand, because that's a terrible move. Growl is better than that. So now we, there we go. Now we have an official electric type attack on the team, and we'll leave Sporkles out. Hey, get out of my way. Okay, we're gonna leave Sporkles out front. It's time to face what's his butt? Peaches! All right, here we go. Here we go. Here's Big Peach. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh boy, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Yo, Jay! Yeah. <laughs> You're still struggling along back here. I'm doing great. I got a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. <laughs> Let me show you what I caught. <gasps> okay. <clears throat> show me. Four pokes. How's he going to handle a Cacturn? Oh, yeah. He's already evolved. It's a fully evolved Cacturn. I see how it is. Okay. Fine. What else? I haven't. Did you catch any shinies yet, Peaches? I didn't think so. Okay. All right. Grass type, though. Let's go straight for. Let's go for the Thunder Wave right out. Why not? Don't like that. Special attack Rose. Let's see. I could walk it lower. No, that wouldn't help. Grass type. Interesting. Let's go for the spark and see how it does. Hmm, not very effective. Absorb! How dare you? Okay. I think what I'm going to go to is Dracus here because Dragon resists grass. So let's do that. We don't have to worry that much. Paralyzed anyway. Hit it with the old head butt. Oh, flinched. Yeah, that's right. Hit it with the headbutt. Oh, going for the accuracy loss. Sneaky! See, now we can actually work on... We have headbutt and bite, both of which are like um, flinch moves. So so we have got a little para flinch action happening now. Not very... That was weirdly more effective than I wanted it to be. It's down. Sporkles gains three to one. Dracus gains... There we go. Okay. Okay. Mighty Anna! Mm. Interesting. And the Intimidate. So now we actually have... Um, Accuracy down and attack down on Dracus. So we're just going to switch right out. We're going to go to Happy. Bring it. Got nothing. Got nothing. How? Okay, he's going for his own attack raise. That's not going to do anything. Go for the bite. Worthless. Go for the scratch. Dead. Nothing. He probably has a Pidgeotto, at least. That's not like a huge deal or anything, but he probably has it. Oh, he has an Umbreon. What? We are being this. I feel like. Do you guys think this is the Umbreon we didn't catch? I feel like it is. 
I feel like it vents it. Yeah, it is. Peaches caught our Umbreon. Oh, oh, how dare you? That's yeah. It's like that's just that's just rude. Okay, like we ran out of Pokeballs. All right. Uh, this is what happens. You can't trust Peaches. He'll steal a Pokemon right out from under you. Well, all right. Umbreon, you're enemy number one. I get it. It's fine. It's cool. You want to play that game? You want to play that game? Okay, I'll whip defense down. Don't like that. We've been defense dropped twice. Oh, and sand attack. How dare you? Okay, so what we probably are going to need to do... Oh, we missed. Okay, yeah, probably. So what we're probably going to need to do here is the Pidgeotto. Okay. Now, the thing is, Peaches typically has a Pidgeotto right here in this exact fight. The question is, how will the Pidgeotto handle it? Should we go Sporkles and try and just hit it with Spark? Or we, should go, or we could go Dracus and try and hit him with Rock Tomb. Or we could just stick with Happy, but Happy has had a few stat drops and I don't like that. We're definitely not going to Moiran at this moment because weak to flying. Um, who, let's go, I think, let's go Sporkles. Let's see, let's see. We're at a higher level, we're shiny. We're better in every way. Let's Thunder Wave first. Okay, that's good. Paralyzed Sand Attack, how dare they? I'm gonna go for the Spark. Oh, boy, that was, Oh my goodness. So if we, I mean, provided the sand attack, I think we're good. <gasps> oh God, that quick attack was dangerous, dangerous. But look at that, Sporkles prevails, of course. Defeating Peaches, there we go, take that. Woo, okay, that was nerve wracking, that was nerve wracking. Sporkles took a couple of quick attack. I didn't think about quick attack. I was like, look at this, we got this, no problem. We're gonna, he'll be paralyzed. We'll hit him with Spark. The only thing we have to worry about was accuracy, but actually we also had to worry about quick attack, but we didn't because we survived, obviously. So let's go ahead and heal real quick before we go down the Nugget Bridge. And you know what? Somehow Dracus, I think is our lowest level, but that doesn't mean I think Dracus uh, is not capable of handling her own on the bridge. So, oh, what are we doing in here? Didn't want to come in this house. So what we're gonna do is uh, put Dracus at the front and let her uh, get some rage out, as it were, on Nugget Bridge. A lot of people call this the Nugget Bridge. Beat us five creators with a fabulous prize. Think you got what it takes? Yeah, probably, but we'll see. Who knows what you guys could have. Oh, you've got a bag on too. This is great. This is fantastic. Because you know uh, what Dracus likes to do is prove how much of the best dragon she is. So there you go. Defeating another dragon right up. But this guy, oh, that means this guy's going to be a dragon trainer. Everything's going to be dragon. Oh, gosh. Wait a minute. This could be bad. Because that was, but the first Pokemon. Oh, God. Wait, what, what else are they going to have? Oh, no. Oh, dragon air. Okay. 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 Go for the headbutt. Okay. That took a lot of damage. That did a lot of damage. That's good. Headbutt dead. Okay. I, I, you know, it didn't even occur to me that every now and then we're gonna come into, we're gonna run into dragon trainers, which feels dangerous. Uh, but let's see, Vibrava. Okay, no big deal either. Um, these are all not so, uh, and they flinch, so no big whoop. Is that it? No, you got one more. And an Altaria. Okay, that's your big guns, is big Altaria, big fluff. Okay. We have big headbutt. Yeah, you're dead. You're dead. Bug catcher kale, dragon catcher kale. All right, who's next? Who's next? Je oh my God, I was just wondering, like, I wonder when we're gonna run into an ice trainer, because that's obviously no good for our dragon type. So we're gonna need to switch out. I, we don't have a fantastic solution to ice other than that happy, obviously they can't do much damage to. Um, oh, look at that. The scratch itself did so much damage, wow. Happy. Oh, gr oh, it's actually not Ice Trainer. It's a Psychic Trainer. She just had an Ice-type Pokemon. Even better, because now we can just bite it to death. It didn't even occur to me to use Bite on um, that Jinx with Dracus, but that probably would have done it as well. Mr. Mime, this is going to be Cakewalk. Glass Alley, dead. Uh, let's keep going. Number three. I won't be easy. Well, we'll see about that. Mawile, okay, so this is steel type because we don't have fairies yet. So how do we handle that just yet? Let's see how Headbutt does. Not good. Bite, mm -hmm. did more than I wanted it to. Let's go with, mm -hmm. let's just go with Happy here. Bite, no probs, water gun. 
I'm so bad at knowing what is good against steel. It feels like nothing. All, all I know is fire. Fire is good against steel, but we don't have any fire attacks, so. Uh, Laron! Going down. Oh, break. Oh, we'll see that they're part ground, though, right? So it's not just water. Young's to Timmy. Down. I'm going to heal just because there's no reason to really risk it. Hold on a sec. We shouldn't... You never... Like... I had that conversation with myself in my head all the time playing Nuzlocke. I'm like, we're... It's, should I heal? I, I, this seems like a lot of work. Why would I? But that, yeah, no, do it. Just there's no, why risk it? Don't be silly. Uh, this guy's going down. Head butt. Head butt. Oh, whoa. That did so much more damage than it needed to do. We are switching. Goodness. All right, we're going to go into Moirin. Focus energy. I don't like that one bit. No, I most certainly do not mega drain. Sand attack. How? What? Oh, I see what you're doing. I'm gonna be one of those guys. Arm thrust. Arm thrust. Mm -hmm. Four times. <sighs> okay, but we're, you know what? It's okay because we're gonna heal it back. And he's gonna hit me again. And then we're gonna. Ah, uh, come on. Oh. Okay. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm gonna bring in big hap. Mm -hmm. Finish it, man. Sand attack. So annoying. Peter does that. It's such a sneaky tactic. But you know what? Team effort. We took down the Hariyama. No big deal at all. And now we're just gonna do the thing. We're not gonna. We're not gonna die. We're just getting ready for Misty. Everyone needs to be at least level 20 by the time we get to that gym because who even knows what kind of gym she's gonna be? She could be a dragon gym. I don't know. This guy's got nothing. He's gonna get headbutted. Oh, he flinched. Let's see how bite does. About the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nothing. So we're just going to try and keep flinching them with headbutt. That doesn't work. Flinched. Flinched. Dead, dead, dead. See ya. Tangela. All right, and this guy is rocket. So no big deal. We got the nugget. Hooray, go us. Caterpie. Oh, wow, look at this guy. He's a little bug trainer. Oh, that's adorable. Straight shot. Mm -hmm. Not that worried about it. Lower the speed. It's a little annoying, but I think we're okay. And Ninkeda, so yeah, this guy really had nothing. I mean, I guess that his second bug could have been it. He could have had a Scyther, but he didn't. Instead, he had um, Ninkeda. He's actually hit me way... They did way more damage than I feel like they had any right to do. Oh, you're too good. Yes, that's right. Fear. Fear me. All right, now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to switch over to Sporkles here because we're going to have a... Potential new catch on this route, right? We're on new route. Let me double check it. Cerulean City, route 24. Yeah, okay, so new route. Let's see, what's it gonna be? <gasps> A seal? That's interesting. That is interesting because potential ice type, not bad to have in the event of dragons, which we know is possible. We've already, it's already happened to us once. Let's just uh, knock this seal for a loop. It's gonna headbutt us, okay. Ooh, the seal looks like a... Uh... Paralyzed, exactly what we were going for. Back here. Probably one more, still paralyzed. Yes, oh, look at that, very paralyzed. That, I don't know, that doesn't necessarily bode well. Seems like maybe three in a row? Hmm, hmm. Do we want that kind of seal on our team? Of course we do. Here we go, go Pokeball. Oh, and just like that, we have a new Pokemon. It's Seal. Yay. The protruding horn on its head and it's very hard. It's used for bashing through thick icebergs. Give a nickname to the captured seal. Yes. We're gonna name you. Data, Data Seal. This is after uh, Data Rach in the comments. Long time viewer of the channel. Welcome Data to the team. You're on board. We should check you out real quick. Uh, Pokemon, Summary. By the way, if you want your name if you want a Pokemon nicknamed after you, I just go into the comments, and that's where we get the people from. 
Uh, thick fat. Heat and cold protection. Okay. I think that means protected against ice and fire attacks. That's pretty good. Um, I mean, well, already naturally resistant to those things, but I guess just doubly so. But no big deal. That's not a problem. Um, and what? I didn't even look at your attacks. You, we've got a lot of headbutters, I've noticed. We've got, oh, headbutt and growl. So you need a water attack for sure, Data. Um, let's go ahead and move you to the front, though. And maybe we'll just do some switch training with you as well against some of these other trainers on the route. Hooray. Everything's working out. This is working. Attract. Ooh, that's fun. Maybe we'll give, I wonder if that would be a good move for uh, Data there. All right, dude, I just got back from Mount Moon, but I think still got gas in the tank. He's talking about beans. Graveler, see this actually would have been a great fight if we had a water attack, but we don't. So we're gonna switch instead to Moirin. I'm actually a little concerned this thing might has like self-destruct or something, that would be very bad. In the meantime, we're gonna wreck it with Moirin, hooray. This, look at this, it's a hiker who has rock type Pokemon. That's so appropriate. He's like a, a regular hiker, unrandomized almost, except he has a Marowak, which is you know pretty cool. Not what you typically see. Are we on a, yet another new route? I don't think so. Route 24? Oh, Route 25 we are, which means yet again, we can catch something new. I wasn't even thinking about that. Okay, well in that case, we need to get our catching specialist, Sparkles, back out to the front. Here we go, Sparkles, yes. Oh boy, what is it? What's it gonna be? Ugh, a grand bull. Okay, oh, you know what? Last episode, we were hoping for a big bulky normal type, and now we might have one. Okay, so very fun, very fun. Grand bull, interesting. I've never used a grand bull ever, and it's like already evolved, so that's fun. We're gonna thunder wave this thing. Kale whip, got nothing. Let's go quick attack. Charm, ooh, that's pretty handy, actually. For other fights, we might have skip. Oh, boy, you do a lot of uh, stat altering. Charm, and does he have other attacks? I don't know. Okay, anyway, Pokeball. Up, 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 up. Hmm? 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 Oh! It was so close! We got it. We're gonna get it. So far, it has Tail Whip, Scary Face, and Charm. This thing is like the stat lowering like queen, I guess, because it looks female. My goodness, we're gonna get you, Granville. I cannot believe how hard it is to catch it, geez. Uh, maybe I'll hit it with one more quick attack? Why not, lower its health a wee bit. Maybe that gives us some help. Come on, Granville. Yes, click, boom. All right, guys, we have a full team of six now. Although uh, Gramble is level eight, so that's a little bit far off. Let's find a nickname. Let's see, hold on. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> CC, spelled S-I-S-I. -S -I. Welcome CC to the lineup. I'm gonna go heal that real quick because uh, definitely want full health, full health in the case that we uh, need that. I'm probably, I'm not the, I'm not sure I'm gonna like totally switch train that situation up right now just because, let's give a look um, first of all at CC's attacks. Tackle, scary face, tail whip, charm. So all CC can really do right now is the, the big tackle Stingy Stingy looks ready for a fight though. Big old bulldog, yeah, all right, yeah. Look at this, look at our lovely lineup. This is so fun to be playing Leaf Green and to have a Minin, a Roselia, a Croconaw, a Bagon, a Seal, and a Grand Bull. Like what, what an amazingly unique team to have in this game at this moment. I, this, I'm having, this is a blast, this is a blast. Very fun. Um, I think we're gonna leave Sporkles up front for the, for the next fight. Give Sporkles a chance to shine. Blaze again. Oh, interesting. All right, well, no messing around with that thing. We're gonna go straight to Happy. Double kick. Oh, you wouldn't. What a gun. Yeah. I'm gonna get the old scratch -a I can't believe it took us all the way to Cerulean City to get six Pokemon, though. Like, 
I mean, I guess in total we've caught seven thus far, but obviously, um, Livid died. That wasn't great. Another Umbreon. Oh, they are hunting up. They, they're becoming like our like hated enemy. They're everywhere all of a sudden. And I can't believe how many we've had to fight. Well, they're going down. They got nothing on us. We're not, you know, not going to take it. You know, uh, they want to they wanna come at us. That's fine. We'll just come back at them. You want to tackle? I can, I can spark. And now you're paralyzed. Oh, you, you synchronize. How dare you use my own move against me. Oh, these sneaky Umbreons. My goodness, we won. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know about this, you guys. I don't know about these. We're gonna go into Dragus to resist your grass type moves. Oh, Leech Seed, I don't like that one bit. No, I don't. Oh, but the crit from Dracus! Oh, what a kill, what a kill. Excellent, well done. You go ahead and paralyze heal. My Sporkles. Well done, well done, well done. There we go. Hey, you want to fight? Dad took me on a great party to SSA of Vermilion City. Okay, all right. Machop. Okay, okay. Let's see. Who do we have to fight against? This is actually a pretty high level Machop. Level 17? Let's see. Who do we take you down with? Who do we take you down with? We could probably just go... I'm gonna go Moiren. Focus energy, I don't like that, not one bit. No, 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 no. Oh, but Moiren, oh, just wrecks it with a Mega Drain. Fantastic, well done, well done. All right, let's see, I'm gonna throw, um, let's, why not? Let's throw CC up front, maybe we'll get her a quick level on this next fight. Level eight, probably will get a level because just so level. Oh my gosh, it's a Machamp. Look at that, oh, we have, we have Intimidate, that's amazing. What a great move. So we're now we're just gonna have CC be introduced to battle. We're gonna switch out with Happy, just make her feel nice and comfortable on the team here. Uh, you know, they both have really big mouths, so maybe they're gonna, maybe they can bond over that. Karate Chop, boy, that's gonna be so much experience for young CC, let's see. 309 level, boom, that's one level, awesome. I bet it gets two. Oh, wow, didn't. Scary face, uh, let's see. Do we want Scary Face? I don't even know if we do. Do we want Scary Face over Leer? Lower the speed. You know what? I'm going to get rid of it. I haven't used Leer really at all. We're doing it. Scary Face. Heracross! Ooh, it's a fighting trainer. I see. I see. We're just going to water gun you. Boy, the fighting types, we don't have like a great answer to them just yet, I don't suppose. Ooh, it's a lot of experience. Solid. All right. Well. I'm gonna go ahead and use one of our potions just because we took more damage than I wanted. Not that we have, you know, that much health to lose at all, but. Uh, let's go ahead and get this guy. I'm off to see a Pokemaniac's collection at the Cape! Ha ha! Cloister! Okay. I love having Intimidate on the team. That is such a helpful thing. Withdraw. How about Spark? In your face! CC got a turn! Well done, CC. Cloister again. And dead again. Sparkles 21. Booyah. Excellent. Man, having Spark is so handy. Deli Bird. Oh, it's an, actually an ice type trainer, but he's had things that are weak to electric the entire way down. That's hilarious. I thought he was a water type trainer. Ah, what do you know? Despite your iciness, you've managed to be weak to electric the entire way. Sparkles gets two levels trying to learn Encore. That's very interesting. Ah, uh, do we want Encore? This can be a very helpful move, like if you can get people trapped in like a uh, thing, but it's more better for like competitive play. Um, honestly, I'm not sure it's as good for what we're doing right now. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, we're gonna skip that. It's better to get people stuck in like Thunder Wave, Thunder Wave, Thunder Wave, like things that are not gonna hit you. Um, let's go. Oh wait, I thought you were gonna fight. We're almost, we have, I think, two more trainers, and then we're going to head over to Misty's gym. So we're getting very close. Another Blaziken. Man, these things are everywhere. But once again, we have the obvious solution with Happy. We're just going to come in, water gun this thing in its face. Get CC a level. Boom. And a new mole. Also dead. Ha, ha, ha. And the great thing about this trainer is if you're really sneaky, if you make him walk far enough, you can walk in here and get secret power. I don't even know what secret power does, but... 
That used to be seismic toss in like red and blue, and I always think it's gonna be that again, and it's not. Oh, we have two more trainers, I'm sorry. Let's see if we can keep getting CC some levels though. Shelter, boom. We're gonna go, is this another, the question is, is this guy, I think he must be water because, oh, well, he has ice attacks, but I'm not sure if Shelter starts out as ice. Let's find out. CC grew to 12. Yeah, water trainer. Nothing. The question is, what kind of trainer will Misty be? And are we prepared for it? It could be, like, if it's a fighting trainer, like, that would be bad. That would be the hardest thing, I think. Mm -hmm. Gulpin! Uh-huh. Oh, my God. I love hitting everything with that beautiful Intimidate. It is so fun. Yawn. How dare you. Headbutt. Let's just... I don't think... I think Dracus can just... Endure the sleep. Yeah, there you go. Well done, Dracus. I like the. Oh, okay. So let's see how Dracus does. I wonder if uh, Moirin will take this personally. Woo! Hopefully not. Just wreck through that thing. So this is another poison trainer. They've got poison point on that knit arena, and we're poisoned. Yep, yeah, shouldn't have done that. That was stupid. But we're gonna knock it out anyway. So not a huge problem. End of fight. We win. We're gonna have to antidote these guys up. Dracus secured poisoning. Wonderful. Now we go talk to Bill. Get that situation sorted. Hi, oh, I'm a poker. No, I'm not. I'm Bill. I'm a true blue poker maniac. What's with that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you. Yeah, okay. Wait till I get inside the teleporter. Yeah, then rearrange my cells, 10 year old child. It seems like a really big uh, ask for someone who probably doesn't know that much about you know, cellular destabilization or whatever. But uh, here we go. We did it, we did it. We're apparently we're a genius. Yeehaw, thanks bud, I owe you one. Did you come to see my Pokemon collection? Oh, well here's a ticket to a fancy ship. Awesome. We win. All right, so we're gonna go heal up real quick. Then we're gonna go fight Misty's gym and hopefully get our second badge. We're gonna figure out what kind of gym it is to begin with. Um, let's see. I'm gonna continue to lead with Sisu cause, or CC because I don't think that's gonna be a problem for this first fight. I have no idea what they're gonna have. The the trainers will tell us though. This will be like they'll all have the same, so we can at least know what we're up against. We still won't know what kind of Pokemon she, or which species of Pokemon she'll have. Dust stocks. Okay, so it's either a Poison Gym or a. Would it be poison again? Brock was poison. That would be weird. So it's either a bug gym or a poison gym. Um, let's see. Rob said I'm going to fight you with CC, but we can fight you with... Let's just go with happy. Why not? Confusion. Mm-hmm. I know it well. You're going down. CC, level 13, just like that. Trying to learn bite. Yes, there we go. Um, I think I'm actually going to get rid of Tail Whip because we already have, because Tackle's a stab move, so there's at least that. Venomoth, it, well, actually, this doesn't help us. It, I still don't know if it's poison or bug because both of this person's Pokemon were poison and bug. Oh, how dare you? Okay, let's go for it. Hurt ourselves, Tackle. Goodness, we're gonna go one more. Water gun, boom, we win. Ha, amazing, happy go to 29. That's fantastic. Actually, if we get one more level for happy, we will evolve because even though Croconaw takes until level 18 to get to evolve the first time, or Totodile takes to 18, which is long, so it um, evolves into the second form late, but into its final form early, which is awesome. So actually, I don't know if we're a bug or a poison gym that we're up against yet, so. I feel like they wouldn't have two poison gyms in a row, but I, not that the game couldn't do that, but it'd be hilarious if Misty of all the leaders was a bug type trader because she like hates bugs in the anime so much. But anyway, here we go. Well, maybe this trainer will be enough to uh, tell us. She has a Pineco, so is that, is Pineco a bug type? Is that a thing? I don't even know. Don't even know. Um, I'm gonna go with not you. 
I'm gonna go with Dracus to do this fight. Tackle, headbutt, Lynch, headbutt, tackle. I need to look up what Pineco is, because that. Hold on. I need. I, it must be Bug, but we'll find out. Hold on. Pineco. It's a bug. Okay, so it's a bug gym. Hilariously. Uh, I do not know what that means Misty could have. It could mean that she's going to have a Scyther. Uh, it could mean she has a Pinsir. It could mean she has a Caterpie and a Metapod. You know, like it could be just anything. Um, the question is, what should we lead? I'm not that worried that we're not going to be able to defeat it. But I think we're going to lead with Sporkles so that we can... Um, there's a chance if it's a bug type, it's also flying, so there's that. Plus, that we'll just be able to paralyze it right out of the gate. So I'm not too concerned. That's going to be our strategy. I don't know what bug type she's going to have. Obviously, we don't want to risk too much of anything, though. Here we go. Ugh, all right, what's she going to have? It could be just anything. There's, It could be really good. It could be really not good. I mean, bugs through the first three generations didn't get tons of love. So I'm... Ah, man, I guess we'll just find out. Hi, your new face. My policy is an all-out offensive with water type Pokemon. Or is it? Maybe she'll have a Surskit. Wouldn't that be funny in like a masquerade? A fortress. Oh gosh, as long as it doesn't like explode on us. Can it do that? I don't think so. I mean, I guess it could. I really don't want it to. Let's Thunder Wave it. Oh, I see. Sneaky. Double. Oh gosh, I'm nervous that it has like self-destruct or something. That would be the worst. That would be the worst. We're gonna try to spark it. Take down, uh-oh. Okay, hit itself with recoil. Now we should be able to knock it out with spark. Boom, dead, ha! And Venomoth, okay, so yet another Venomoth. We're just gonna go for the spark and see how it does. Confusion, okay. Okay, didn't really do any. Oh, because we have high special defense. That's right. So we're going to try another spark. Oh, just like that. Sporkles. Sweeps. Misty. Boom. Yes. Oh, amazing. And is level 23. Well done, Sporks. You did it. You did it. Oh, man. That was like the easiest gym fight we have had in some good time. Wow, you're too much. All right. You can have the Cascade badge to show you beat me. Boom. Cascade badge. Level 30. So it's outsiders, you can use cut, hooray. And what is it? Water pulse, guess who's getting that data? All right, use it on an aquatic Pokemon. All right, thank you. Well, you know what guys? I'm gonna call that episode a smashing success. We added two new members to the team, uh, a Grand Bull and a Seal, neither of which I've ever used, so that's very exciting. Uh, and we got our second badge and Sporkle swept it, yes, so. Very excellent episode. Um, I think next time we're gonna head towards the uh, SSN, I guess. We'll probably clear out the people from Vermilion City. Uh, hopefully, hopefully they're not too difficult. We had some interesting fights in this episode. So thank you so much, as always, for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you haven't already, and subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Uh, and if you'd like to have a Pokemon named after you, make sure you leave a comment in the title section down below. But until next time, bye!